Warm wishes to everyone around the globe. I'm Sandra Rupp. I was placed on the Thinkers 50 Guru Radar list for the world's top business thinkers. I would invite all the male CEOs out there who watch my show. We want you to invite more women like me to World Economic Forum. We now have viewers in 65 countries around the globe. Today's video is called Never Give Up on Your Dreams. I named my company after the Parthenon in Greece dedicated to Athena. I'd like to talk about the five economic myths at Davos. One of my CEOs from Davos told me there won't be quite as many Americans attending this year because it overlaps with the inauguration and our male CEOs may not be aware of, so we want to fill them in. The first point is that the unemployment rate in the United States is not 5% because it's not counting all of the people who have dropped out of the workforce. It's not counting people that work part-time but want to work full-time. It's not counting all the women who have started businesses who remain one-person companies. And this is one of the main reasons Donald Trump was victorious. President-elect Trump, feel free to chime in. Myth number two is that we don't need more women at Davos. Like one of my Davos CEOs was trying to tell me like, oh, it's a place to do deals. You know, you can create social change other, other places. No, the reality is, is I need to create it at Davos because what I need to do is get the decision making at the very tippy top, the banks, the credit card companies, uh, angel investors, VC, venture capital, a lot of these key power players who are men are at Davos and that's where I need to go to meet them all at once and make the change happen. Okay, so I need to get women on the CEO teams, I need to get more women on boards, and this is all going to happen at World Economic Forum. When I went to business school, 40% of my class was female, but yet only 18% women are at Davos. So if we are going to create a female economy, as McKinsey calls it, we need to have new financial mechanisms for women-owned businesses. Feminine leadership is different than masculine leadership. So our goal is not to make women into men. Our goal is to allow women to be who they were born to be. And if I can help a CEO do that on his CEO team, I can get it done throughout the whole organization. But first I need to get hired by the CEO because we need to employ a lot more people both in the Western countries as well as in the developing world. It's going to be that yin and yang of leadership that I talk about. Okay? Myth number three at Davos was that the Democrats were going to win the U.S. election. The media seemed to partake in this whole myth, so clearly there was a disconnect there. But as we saw, we had a Brexit and we had the election of President Trump, which I forecasted back in August of 2015 in my Thinkers 50 video for that year. So any of you can take a look back at my YouTube channel and watch. I've had the good fortune to meet President-elect Trump and Melania Trump. He has the ability to draw in both sides of the Democrats as well as the Republicans. And remember, 42% of Americans identify as independents. Okay, I've been a moderate myself and an independent for many years. It's the last eight years have been so traumatic for some of the most successful people, including baby boomers, as well as people you know, graduating from top colleges. Myth number four is that the migration policies in Europe are working well. Okay, I think we all know that they're not working well when it comes to women, children, and priests. You need to let in families. You need to make sure that if you do let people into your country that you have economic opportunity to offer them. I have many followers from Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and other parts of the world. But what we need to do is make sure we have economic opportunity for everyone. And myth number five, is that we should eliminate people's freedom of speech. It is so important that on social media and everywhere else that we allow people to have a voice. I'm a descendant of a Mayflower pilgrim, the Reverend William Brewster, who came over on the Mayflower. And the reason that the pilgrims came over to the United States was for freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Some people in Europe you know, have said to me, oh, it was for economic reasons. No, actually, they came over for freedom of speech and freedom of religion. So my holidays, my weekends are often spent working on videos. But it's so important because as an entrepreneur, we need angel investors and venture capital firms and other people to really invest in us. As the cost of living has continued to increase, especially healthcare costs, there have been some real disconnects in terms of how this is going to work out because you can't continue to bankrupt the most successful educated women and then expect a transfer of wealth to the billionaire class and expect everyone to be happy. So 70% uh, 
of their employees are under 35, I really get worried because what about all of the seasoned women? So I believe that we need to have change at the very top. All of you need to have a lot more women with wisdom over age 40, over age 45, involved in company decision making. Presentations to your company, whatever it may be, videos, I'll be happy to interview you on camera, that's usually very effective. And let's create the kind of change that we want to create. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube. It's Sandra Rupp, Parthenon Advisors. I'm signing off for now. Thanks so much for watching.